come to ADC higher mathematics in the age of 2013 PhD which of the following sequences or series of functions are uniformly convergent on close interval 0 1 fn x for option a fn x equal to cos pi n factorial x whole residue part 2n option b summation m equal to 1 to infinity cos of m to the power 6 by upon m cube fn x equal to n square x 1 minus x square whole residue power n I choose this question only for the first option only for the first option because i know that they, you are able to very much you easily able to this uh, to solve these two option b and c and because this series and this sequence be very common so you can easily able <coughs> and easily solve these two option uh, but uh, i in my point of view option first is best interesting uh, and uh, logical uh, to me so so for this reason i choose this question so i solve the first option at last i firstly solve b and c after that i solve option a at first we consider option uh, option b here the series is given that fn x where fn x equal to cos of m to the power 6 x whole residue power m cube now mod of fnx equal to is cos of m to the power 6 x whole upon m cube this is nothing but 1 by m cube because mod of cos any value of x so less than equal to 1 they again we know that 1 by m cube is a <coughs> is a convergent series so by extra same test we can see we can tell summation fn x is absolutely convergent or uniformly convergent within closed interval within closed interval 0 1 so option b is true now comes to the third option third option which tells that fn x equals to n square x 1 minus x square whole residue to power n if we put x equal to 0 x equal to 0 then we get the sequence which is an all sequence that is 0 0 and so this sequence is again goes to 0 and similarly if we put x equal to 1 this again for x equal to 1 1 minus 1 0 so the, all the points are 0 and this is again converges to 0 as it tends to infinity now if we choose any point x which is belongs to open interval which is belongs to any open interval 0 1 so then we how <coughs> calculate a f n plus one by f n equal to n plus one by n whole residue power x x x cancel and we get one minus x square and this is converges to one minus x square as n tending to infinity and since zero less x less one it mostly imply that 0 less x uh, less 1 minus x square less 1 uh, you can easily see that for every value of x between close open interval 0 1 1 minus x square is always between line between 0 and 1 and for this reason the function fn x for this reason fn x is converges to 0 as n to infinity so we get the point wise limit uh, of fn x if it will be the quantity limit of fn x be the zero function therefore fn x is tending to f of x for all x belongs to close interval 0 1 as n tending to infinity where f of x equal to 0 for all x belongs to close interval 0 1 for all x belongs to closed interval 0 1 now we apply mn test for the test of uniform convergency fn x even equals to equal to supremum of x belongs to closed interval 0 1 mod of fn x minus fx and here fx equal to 0 for all value between closed interval 0 1 so only we get supremum of this quantity that is n square x into 1 minus x square whole density power n and x belongs to closed interval 0 
1 square root of 0 1 now we we take this function as un x and un square x into 1 minus x square whole to the power n and after derivative un dash x we get uh, minus 2 n cube x square 1 minus x square whole residue power 1 min minus 1 and plus n square into 1 minus x square whole residue power n and to find the extremum of this quantity so we first find the stationary point by the equating un dash x equal to 0 and after calculation you can get here x equal to 1 by root over of 2n plus 1 so and after you can calculate un double dash x and put the value then you get mostly it is less than equal to therefore the supremum value of the function x square x 1 minus x square whole residue power n is at 1 by root over of 2n plus 1 therefore we get the value of mn each we get the value of m and b when we put x by 1 minus 1 by root over of 2n plus 1 into 1 minus x square that means 1 minus 2n plus 1 whole residue power n. Now you can easily see that this 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 sequence is goes is divergent sequence because n square is in the numerator and here is the lowest power of uh, the n so it is mostly but diverges to <coughs> this is mostly and this is a bounded sequence and this is mostly diverges to infinity and this is not equal to zero so by Westra's same test we can easily say, uh, told that the function f n x is not uniformly convergent between the closed interval zero so option c will be discarded now we comes to the first option in first option the it tells that f n x equal to cos of pi n factorial x whole to the power 2 n. So this is very interesting option here the function b make as cos of pi n factorial x whole to the power 2 n. So here x belongs to closed interval 0 1. Now since x belongs to closed interval 0 1 there will be two possibilities either x belongs to rational that means either x belongs to q or x belongs to q complement that means x be a irrational number we first consider first possibility that is if x is a rational number if x is a rational number then x can be written as x equal to p by q then x can be written as p by q where uh, p by q is a co prime element therefore the gcd of p comma q equal to one now see that if we multiply q into x this is p if we multiply q into x this is nothing but p and p is what p is integer p is an integer so we can write q factorial into x equal to equal to not this is always natural number q factorial into x always natural number now since x is a positive quantity so P and Q always greater than zero quantity. So x Q into x is not a positive or not only a positive integer, it is always also a natural number. Now we all know that cos of m pi, cos of m pi is what? Either one or minus one. For every multiple of pi, for every integer multiple of pi, we get the value of cos of m pi is either one or minus one. But here, given that oh, the residue power will be even, so, since this is 2n, so if we put here any n, it is be a even number. So if we get one, one, one minus one whole residue power 2n is always one. So when x be a rational number, we get the function f n x. We get the function f n x cos of sorry cos of pi eh, sorry cos of pi n factorial into x whole residue power 2n each uh, equal to nothing but 1 as intending to infinity because 
this is always a natural number so in factorial matrix is a natural number and this is a multiple of pi so this is either one or minus one and this is minus one whole square root of 12 so the value will be one so therefore when x be a rational number we get the sequence each converges to fn x converges to one when x be a rational number between closed interval zero one now we take the second possibility where x belongs to q complement that means x is a rational number since x be a rational number then we cannot write x in the form p by q where p and q are co prime element that means the gcd of p by q p o p comma q equal to 1 we cannot write so for any value for any value of x uh, for any value of any irrational value of x Uh, pi into n factorial into x pi not pi simply n factorial into x this is does not be a natural number because x cannot be written in the form so we get pi into n factorial into x this is does not belongs to any and uh, this is does not this is not a integer multiple of pi so this is not a integer multiple of pi so therefore always we get cos of pi into n factorial into x this is always the value be less than 1 this value is always less than less than 1 and again we know that r to the power n tending to 0 as n tending to infinity when mod of r less than 1 when mod of r less than 1 here we get cos of pi n factorial x less than 1 therefore cos of pi n factorial x Whole residue power 2n. This is always tending to zero as n factorial uh, as n tending to infinity because this is less than one. So when x is a rational number, then f n x goes to what? Uh, then f n x goes to zero. Therefore, when x is a rational number, x is goes to zero when x is a irrational number. So if we write in compact form the limit function. limit function is nothing but zero when x belongs to closed interval 0 1 intersection so you have q complement q complement and this is one when x belongs to closed interval 0 1 intersection q this is nothing but a dirichlet function and we know that dirichlet function is no higher continuous and if the function be uniformly continuous at the point uh, so at that at that set closed interval 0 1 to a function f of x So if x must be continuous, since this is a result, so here function be not uniform, it's not continuous. So we can tell uh, the function be uh, not uniformly, uh, not uniformly continuous. So uh, sorry, so here the option A be true. So uh, option A be told that the option is not uniformly continuous. So only option B will be correct option. So thank you, friends. Thank you for watching.